Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And today, the September crew pack was revealed, and there were some major changes made to Reload. All right, first of all, let's take a look at this new September crew pack that is coming out uh, soon. This is Dolly. Looks can be deceiving. As a subscribed Fortnite crew member, you'll get Dolly on August 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern. All right, so uh, this is one, you know, uh, I actually like this one better than some of the recent ones. Uh from what we can see out of this character uh at least it has some you know some flair to it more than the some of the recent ones he's got you know the fortnite llama uh scarf it has uh a coat you know like but it's got a bunch of a different like the mascot characters i see guff on there i see cuddle bear i see peely so it's like a fuzzy looking coat that's got all of them on it so at least like the the you know the outfit that this character is wearing still not quite what i'm looking for as a crew member i really wish it was more right or something like even more unique that something that is really going to stand out when you wear it in game that people are going to go oh look at that outfit that's the crew member outfit i really want to get that you know but um but but again this one still looks it looks good it looks fine I'm not as um, disappointed in this one as I have been in some of the other recent ones. Uh, so that's good. Um, yeah, there's there's that. And then the other piece of news that we have to do or that, we, that we're going to talk about is uh, Reload. So they say we've shaken up the Fortnite Reload loot pool. See below for the changes. We'll go over what was vaulted first. So... These were the items that were vaulted in Reload. Pistol, Mammoth Pistol, uh, Ranger Shotgun, Heavy Shotgun, Lever Action Rifle, Hammer Assault Rifle, and the Twin Mag SMG. Now what was unvaulted? The Combat Pistol, the Hand Cannon, the Thunder Shotgun, the Hunting Rifle, the Combat Assault Rifle, combat smg and shield keg um so i'd love to know your opinion on this you know um do you think this was a good swap of items just looking at the list here i haven't played reload um since this change myself but just looking at it I think that's a pretty fair trade. Uh, I'm a big fan of the hand cannon. Uh, I really like the hunting rifle, the combat assault rifle, combat SMG, and getting uh, shield kegs in there. I don't know. That sounds that sounds pretty good to me. But um, you know, especially if you have been playing it today since this update uh, came out, let me know how you feel about it. All right. Uh, there's also some other changes made to reload. Say, in addition to the loot pool changes, we've also made some adjustments to the storm in Fortnite Reload. So the final two storm circles will begin quicker and shrink slower over a longer distance. Storm sickness will now activate much faster. Be sure to keep up with the safe zone. We'll continue to monitor storm circles in reload and ensure that things remain fun and action packed. Good luck out there. Yeah, uh, again, I, I like faster pace modes. Uh, reload already is that with all the, uh, you know, 
respawning and reloading <laughs> that you do in there. And then uh, if you're telling me you get to the final two storms quicker, uh, I love that. Again, it's just um, in encouraging uh, more battle, which is fun and, and great. So I think, again, to me, those are good changes, but uh, I'd love to hear uh, your opinion on the matter. All right. And then other than that, I don't have any other news to go over today. So let's take a look how many people are playing this game tonight. 119,000 on Battle Royale. 147,000 on Zero Build. Reload has 85,000. Reload Zero Build. 33,000. Lego has 24,000. Rocket Racing, 3,000. Main Stage, 8,000. Ranked Battle Royale has 56,000. Uh, ranked Zero Build, 14,000. Uh, we have uh, Bouncing Bean Obby with 1,300. Phantom Investigation Reimagine, 946. Pet Heroes Ad Adventures. Or adventure 2200 Valhalla boss fight 1000 uh, let's see uh, caveman tycoon survival 262 hexagon fall guys 308 uh, toy box all weapon all weapons 1v1 1500 uh, and of course, there's a whole lot more to be discovered in the Discover tab. Uh, t today's Tuesday. Let's head on over to Quests and take a look at the Quests today. Should be new weeklies, correct? Yes, here we are. Week 2, eliminate opponents with the Striker AR. Three in total. We'll just go over them while we're here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory right you got to get striker ar and get three eliminations and where's the easiest place to do that team rumble uh you know again i always like doing these kinds of quests in team rumble because again think about it if you land in a battle royale match um and you land somewhere and you don't find the weapon right away then you're going through the match you're spending i don't know let's say you spend the next five or ten minutes looking for for whatever weapon it is you're looking for in this uh, example the striker ar you don't find it but then when you finally get it uh you're excited right like okay i got it now i just gotta go to some, get some eliminations but then let's say somebody comes up with, to you they got all the superhero powers and they eliminate you and now you just wasted all that time well at least in team rumble uh you pick up that weapon and then you have all match long and again you're gonna reload in a reboot in team rumble right so it's not like you have to start the process all over if you get eliminated so yeah, I, I feel like it's an efficient, you know, match to get these kinds of quests done. Uh, sprint distance after taking damage, 100 uh, meters. Again, that sounds like that'd easily be done in Team Rumble as well, right? Because you're going to get, you're going to have a lot of opponents. You're going to constantly be getting uh, rebooted. And again, that's another like smaller, faster pace uh, map where they shrink down the circle. So uh, everybody's in the same area fighting. So you should be able to get that one done easily in there as well. Use a mod bench in different matches too. All right. Well, you know, you got to go to the, whatchamacallit, the bunkers. Get in there and use the mods and two different matches doesn't matter what you do just gotta do it in two different matches damage opponents within five seconds of receiving damage 150 damage total again team rumble it seems like another really easy place to get that one done uh hire characters or recruit defeated henchmen five in total okay and then you know you can 
uh, look at your character list when you're in game and figure out which ones can be hired. Go there, hire them right away. The last time, maybe they got it fixed. The, you know, being able to recruit henchmen after downing them. I know that got, yeah, I, I didn't even hear what it was, but I know they disabled that like pretty quickly. Um, so I don't even know if that's been re-enabled, but they have it here as a quest. So I'm hoping that when I get on to play after recording this episode, uh, that I will find out that we'll be, we are able to recruit the henchmen once again. Uh, okay, so there's your list of quests to do this week and how to get them done. Um, let me know how the quests are going for you and how leveling up is going for you. I, myself, uh, I'm at level 50. And, uh, of course, Sadist Bob posted in the Discord what level he's on today. You know, with his screen captured, uh, show us where he, where he is exactly. And this was earlier today. Uh, from the time of this recording, this was about 10 hours ago. And he was at level 204. Again, this was 10 hours ago. So who knows what level he's at now? <laughs> uh, I told him, you know, he's already got enough to get all the bonus stuff and whatever when it comes out. So he can just go ahead and relax the rest of the season now. My goodness, uh, good on you, say this, Bob. <laughs> uh, let's see here. That's quest. Let's head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today. Okay, in the item shop, all of our special offers and bundles, uh, our gear for festival, the jam tracks. The cars, Champions Road, the soccer skins, and then we got the Vic Blends emote for 500. Oh, you know what? I didn't notice this yesterday. It looks like it's one of those um, sync emotes because uh, when you when you're just doing the emote, you're standing there with a pair of clippers and a scissors in your hand. But I see in the little thumbnail for the emote. Uh, somebody is sitting in a chair like they're getting ready to get their hair cut so uh this one must be a sink one and um i'll have to look that up now to see what that one looks like when it's synced all right uh 500 v bucks for that one the bracer outfit is 800 the clean cut pickaxe is 500 diverge glider is 800 we got the sky stalker outfit for 2000 Propeller Axe for 800 The Arrow Knot Outfit for 1200 Arrow Axe Pickaxe for 500 uh, Ooh, the Golden King Returns. The Golden King Bundle. That's uh, Ascendant Midas for 2000 The Golden Touch Pickaxe for 800 The Golden Ascension Wrap for 500 Or it's all in the bundle for 2500 which is 800 off the total. Uh, Carol G items are still here. Deadpool and Wolverine. Captain America, Marvel, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande, Iron Spider, and J Balvin has made a return. So it has the Inferno Inferno Skeleton uh, Balvin bundle um, or the Jurassic J bundle. So you can get whichever one you, you, you like better if you're a big J Balvin fan. All right, uh, but that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. And let's see here. For my item of the day today, let's go with... Uh, let me go back up here and find it. Here it is. You gotta give it to the Golden King, right? The uh, Golden King bundle, Ascendant Midas. All right, I, I just love the Midas character in Fortnite, so we gotta give it up for him. 
All right, so there you go. That's your item of the day today, and that's going to be the episode for today. So make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.